Okay, today I'm going to derive the mean formula. The mean formula states given a set of data on the real number line x1, x2, x3, all the way up to xn. If you take the sum of all this data, and divide by n, n being how many terms or how much data it is, you'll acquire the average. So in this video we're going to define the average and prove that this indeed equals the average. So average, let's think about it this way. So x1 x2, x3, all the way up to xn. Average exists between x1 and xn. It exists as a minimized version of It minimizes the sum of all these differences between x1, x2, and x3, and xn between a. The so, uh, minimum a is is uh, such has the property such that the sum of all the differences are minimized, but it has to be an absolute difference. Minimized can uh, in this case means that it's closest to zero not most negative or closest to negative infinity. So we can't quite define, define it as the sum of the absolute differences being minimized. This is not true. So let's define it another way. So let's think about the squares, for instance. Take the sum of all the squares. If we minimize this series instead, which is much easier to do, we'll minimize the, this, this other series as a result because we have to choose a side such that it minimizes the square. In this case we can only choose a. Thereby this series is a function of a. As a varies, this series varies. So we'll have to take the derivative and set it to zero. Now, how shall we go about with taking the derivative of this function? It's not your average function, it's a series, which we can re rewrite as the derivative of x1 minus a squared plus uh, x2 minus a squared plus all the way up to x n minus a squared. We have to take the derivative of this. Using some rule, we know that this is nothing but d d a of x1 minus a squared plus d d a of x2 minus a squared all the way up to derivative with respect to a of x n minus a squared. This, we can rewrite this as the series of the derivative the series from k equals to 1 of dda of xk minus a squared. So, 
you have to take the derivative of this. So dda of xk lies a. Let's look at this. We can use chain rule. Multiply from the derivative outside times the derivative of the inside. Derivative of xk is just a constant. Minus derivative of a is negative 1. So I have to multiply negative 1, which is negative 2 xk minus a. To plug this, plug this uh, in back to the series, we get f prime of a is equal to negative 2. Say, and thereby we have our, our derivative. We want to set this derivative equal to zero. So is equal to zero. Now what we can do here is just divide by 2. This is, this is just equal to 0 anyways. So the series must be equal to 0. Now, we can split the series into two parts. We can split it into minus n a is equal to zero because you're just uh, doing the following I can it, you can convince yourself at home that this is true by expanding the series and finding there's n n times of negative a within the series so we can just rewrite it as this now Thereby, if we add an A, if you agree with this, and agree with this, is equal to an A. And A is previously defined as the average, so we want to divide by N here. Thereby, the series of all the data from k equals to 1 to n divided by how, mu how, many, how much data there is, which is n, is equal to a, which is just what we have written here. So, just draw a box around it. Face and we're done.